In part one, I looked at the cage. Part two was on the Rode microphone. Part three was the Wally Max light. And in this part four, I look at the Sony A10 and Olympus P2 sound recorders. Okay, slight interruption. Memory card went full. So we start again. So what I'm reviewing now, or a bit like an unboxing, I suppose, is these two external recorders. So we've got the Olympus, and that weighs 73 grams. The Sony weighs 81 grams. And they are very similar. Lengthwise, or height, about 11 centimeters on the Sony, and about 11 centimeters on the Olympus. Widthwise, we're looking at four, and four. So they're both basically the same size. The Sony has a slightly wider top to it, whereas the Olympus is a little bit slimmer. Sort of same thickness all the way. And there's also a slight power difference as well, because the Olympus, if we push that in, we can pop that side off as AAA battery. So that's useful if you run out of power or we're doing a very long recording, you can always pop another battery in. The Sony is built in rechargeable, which has advantages for most of the time. But obviously you may need a charging pack if you were recording for longer. Now, they both connect with the slotting out USBs. So that's standard on both. Um, I think the Olympus might be a metal frame. Feels a little bit cold to the touch. And the Sony is definitely plastic. And on the rear of them, the Sony has the standard quarter inch and the Olympus has an unusual little piece of plastic adapter, not quite so keen on that, which then sits on the back like that and gives you the quarter inch. Um, you've obviously got mic and headphone on there. On the Sony you've got mic, headphone there. So pretty much similar to that. Um, one of the other differences is the Olympus only comes with eight gigabytes the Sony comes with 16 gig. Um, but again, they both have slots for micro SD, so you can expand that. And they both record at 96 kilohertz at 24 bits. So and I think that's labeled as high res on the Sony, but I presume being the same format, the Olympus would be classed as high res as well then. Um, yeah, now the microphones are slightly different. The Olympus has two pointing outwards and a third central mic. And the Sony have movable mics, independently movable. So I think Sony would say that shooting up or shooting straight out would be for like a meeting. If you put them like that, it's for like a solo performance. And then if you put them like that, it would be for like spatial sound outside recordings, things like that. I suppose the Olympus, I think, also connects to an Android phone. I'm not sure if it connects to an iPhone. The Sony will connect to a phone. So I bring my phone in. And zonk back to there, go to there. So we do have an app, which does seem to be quite... And then we have, we switched it on, and it's now recording me again. I've got four microphones running now. So the, the app is quite nice. Um, but I can't try that on the... Olympus, because I think it only goes with Android. So 
to getting back to the point of the video, um, I'm obviously going to connect these to the small rig cage. So what I think I'm going to do is I'll need something like this and I can spin that on there like so and I'm going to try and fix that to the back of the small rig cage. Um, I did have a bit of a quirk using the iPhone yesterday when I was doing a recording and there was like a popping sound. Um, when, so when I connected direct with the Rode mic it sort of popped. I don't know whether that was like a volume record limiter cutting in just to try and cut the sound down but it was noticeable. So that didn't impress me with that. So on that basis I would definitely go with an external recorder but we'll see why it was doing that. Um, but yeah, so that's basically the external recorders. So on to the next part. So this was iPhone in a small rig cage and was on the sound recorders. Thank you for watching and hope you found this video of some interest. This video was filmed and edited by me, Mark Savage, in March 2021. I can be found on Instagram and Facebook under the name Coats and Gators.